starting off, as everyone's been mentioning, when the game stands tall comes out tonight, are you planning on seeing it all this weekend? Actually, I already saw it. It's a great movie. I saw it about uh, two months ago. I had a little secret viewing being from Dallas South. So, you know, it, it tells a great story about the Dallas South and what we're all about and all the issues that go on outside of football, being a teenager and just having friends and brotherhood like that. So it's a great movie. You should go see it. Can you tell me a bit about what the Dallas South program means for you? Uh, it's everything. I, I got a tat the one I got a tattoo on one of these arms. But uh, it's just that having that brotherhood, that 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 uh, knowing you can count on someone, being accountable for your actions, and having knowing that 50, 53 other people are, are counting on you on everything you do, not just on the field, but outside the field, in the classroom, in the community. You know, it just it it teaches you to become a man at a young age and have responsibility. So when you get to college, you're a step ahead of those people who are mama's boys or didn't have much responsibility in high school. Your brother TJ played during the 151 game mm -hmm. streak. What was it like, you know, going to those games and seeing him play up there? Uh, it was great. I was a ball boy. It's funny. I, I have like a little four or five second clip in the movie. And you can see me running out as a little kid with the team. And uh, it's just, you know, I was a ball boy seeing all those games and seeing how they w prepare for the games. They went to the game knowing with that confidence, knowing that they had to win just because of the pressure of the streak, you know. But uh, they all had, they had fun with each other. That was a, that was a big part of it. You can, I know his best friends were Cameron, TK, Willie, Jackie. And and when T, and a big part of the movie is when TK passed away, and I, when they showed it in the movie, it just brought back so many memories of seeing him playing football and being with his friends and all that stuff. So, you know, it it was great to be around Del Sal at that at that part of the history. Yeah, I was gonna bring it up. Your brother was very good friends with TK. Mm -hmm. I know he has a tattoo um, yeah. remembering TK on his arm. Can you talk about their relationship a little bit and how that impacted everything? My brother at that age, he was a really quiet quiet guy, you know, and I think TK brought the good out of him. Um, TK was just a, a loving spirit. Everyone liked him. The, the, I know the times I, I was around him when I was a little kid, so I used to go out there after school and see them joking around. It was always jokes and always a good time. So when that tragedy happened, it was just like, whoa, you know? And uh, it was kind of weird because TK was a lot like Fred when I got here, when, I, when we bonded with Fred. So when that situation with Fred happened, I had, a, I had someone to go to, my brother, and to respond and how it affected him. And I, could, I told him how it affected me, and we could just talked about it, and it was it was weird how we both had friends go so early. What does it mean for you to have graduated from a De La Salle program and being up here in Oregon? It's funny, you know, people know about De La Salle all across the nation, so when they hear you went to De La Salle, it kind of has that, oh, you're, you're a De La boy with the woo but, you know, it, it means a lot to me because of what it taught me, my responsibility, the characteristic it, it installed in me at a young age, so I, I give all the credit to that, that school and the program and the football program for just making me who I am.